other than the Slang album, which we did in Spain, we've done everything since Adrenalize at my place. And it works out really well. You know, they come over for a month at a time. They stay with me in the house, so it's full on boys club. Malvin, our tour manager, comes and he, he becomes Ed Colton bottle washer. He's the chef, he's a guitar tech. He's everything, the accountant, a lot. And, and we just work, PCM. and we don't have to go back to hotels, we don't have hotel expenses, we don't need hire cars. We work, we watch a movie, we go to bed, we get up the next day, we work again. And, you know, Phil can disappear to London for weekends, Vivian goes and visits his folks in Belfast, that goes back to Sheffield. It works out really nice. So we do four or five weeks at a time, and then take a month off, and then get back together and do it again. So it's not difficult. It's, it's just making the commitment, you know. Back in the 80s, when we started doing albums like well, Pyromania, Hysteria, and then Adrenalize, it was all done completely separately. And you start with a drum program and a bass program, even a guitar program, and you'd replace it as you needed to. And it was really, I mean, we would like to do it now. And, and we had Mutt Lang, who was producing it then, who's a genius, so he's, he's actually got that stuff down. Uh, Co-produced is, is what the album is, I suppose. It's produced by Def Leppard and Ronan McHugh, and Ronan's the engineer and the mixer and, and the co-producer. He's been with us for quite a few years now, so he knows everyone's voice, he knows the blends, and that makes it a lot easier. It's like, if you get in with a new producer, and sometimes it's great and everything, but they don't really know what you're about, and the great thing with Ronan, he knows everyone's strengths, weak, weaknesses, or whatever, and, and you know, he can, he can work around it. We trust his judgment. Um, I think mostly producers, when they're working with a band as experienced as we like to think we are in the studio, really end up being referees. Somebody that can you can bounce ideas off. We find it very hard to consider working with other producers. Because once you've worked remote line, it's just downhill from there. And even he said to us in the past, like, you know, try it on your own, see what you can come up with.